On September 4, 1994, Dolphins quarterback Dan Marino was coming back from a 1993 season-ending Achilles heel injury to take on Drew Bledsoe and the New England Patriots in a Week 1 matchup. The Patriots got things started early with a one-yard touchdown run by Kevin Turner to make it 7-0. However, Marino was showing that he healed well, and even in the mud, he threw a 64-yard touchdown pass to Mark Ingram to tie it up at 7. But Bledsoe was showing that he was equally as damaging as he threw a 16-yard touchdown pass to Ben Coates to give New England the lead yet again. The Dolphins went into halftime with a 42-yard field goal by Pete Soyanovic to give New England a four-point lead. The Pats went back to work when Ben Coates was showing us a prototype of what Rob Gronkowski would be 17 years later by rumbling for a 62-yard touchdown to give New England a 21-10 lead. Marino and the Dolphins went back to the drawing board as he threw a 26-yard touchdown pass to Keith Jackson to make a 21-18 Patriots with a two-point conversion. This led New England to take back the 10-point lead with a Bledsoe pass to Michael Timpson to make it 28-18. This gave the Dolphins the incentive they needed to continue as Dan Marino threw a 54-yard bomb to former Patriot Irving Fryer to make it 28-25 New England. Marino continued his aerial raid by throwing a three-flicker bomb to Fryer, this time giving the Dolphins the lead for the first time in the ballgame. This didn't last long, however, as Bledsoe threw a 23-yard beauty to Ray Crittenden to make it 35-32 red, white, and blue. But Marino got the last laugh, however, as he threw a 35-yard work of art to, you guessed it, Irving Fryer to give the Dolphins the lead yet again. That would be the last of the aerial barrage as the Dolphins were able to stop New England on two drives to seal the deal and give Miami the 39-35 victory to start off the 1994 season in memorable fashion. This has been another Turn Back Time, brought to you by yours truly.